Wake it on up, wake it on up, y'all. This is your girl K Marks of W A N C 69, ready to start your day off just the way you like it. Why? Because I am going to give it to you just the way you want it. Raw, fun, and live. Now, what is going on? Okay, girl, so word around the city is that there are some big things on the way. Now, I don't know who it is or where it's from, but it's supposed to be for us, the black and the brown, right? So I've been trying to reach out to my sources around the city to get some more information on this project. But all I know is that certain areas of the city is finally starting to get their shine. Good God. Ain't, ain't that such a good yes. thing here? Absolutely. Long overdue. This this city definitely been going through a rough patch, and it's yeah. about time that we we shine a little light here. Now. No right. doubt. It is definitely well overdue. So you guys, make sure y'all stick with us. We're going to go right to a break, and we'll be right back. Why'd you have to leave me? Yeah, my life done changed. Who would have thought? I don't know who made that coffee, but they need to be fired. Girl, I told you not to get that new pumpkin spice. Yeah. That's what I get for trying new things. Speaking of new things, are there any new options? B, I'm not trying to do all that right now, okay? I'm, I'm trying to focus on the force. It's been five years since you split with John. You say the same old stuff since you and him split. I think it's a good thing to be open for change. Mm, -mm. no, I don't. Look, B, I'm fine. Anything a man can do for me, I can do for myself. Well, why do it for yourself when someone can do it for you and to you? Because I'm not shallow like somebody. Don't throw stones at me, Miss XXX Pawn once a month. What are you talking about? You really shouldn't leave your receipts everywhere in your house. Oh, give me that. Oh. Oh. I know, right? Big black cox and Hispanic man. Wouldn't have guessed this. Either. That's fine. You just found one receipt. Everyone watches porn. September, August, July, June. Be my guest. Those things last until February of. Last year? You're not coming back over until February since you want to snoop. If you say so. So girl, why'd you bring me down here? There's this cool place tonight that has some potential candidates. Me, I know you didn't bring me all the way down here for that. Look, it's a cool place. I've been there with Noah. It's a spoken poetry type thing. There are a lot of bachelors that may catch your eye. Good ones too. Because most of these guys do not read poetry and they damn sure aren't gonna watch it live in person. <laughs> you wrong for that last statement. Am I wrong? If I do this, is this gonna get you off my back? Depends on if you go or not. And I'll know. The host is my friend. Thank you for the latest session, Mrs. Barnes. You can pay me via money app. Girl, you never pay the bill when we go out. Be sure to dust off them dresses too. I know it's been a while. You outdid yourself last night, Sierra. Don't call me that shit. Well, damn. What can I call you? My name. That is your name. The fuck are you hitting me for? I said you never call me that. The fuck, I thought I was joking? No, I ain't think you was joking. But you ain't gotta hit a nigga, though. You need to handle that stress before I handle it for you. And how you gonna do that? <laughs> By letting me lick you up and down Till you say stop Stop Alright, thank you for the dick I'll be back soon P.S. Better head next time But thank you for your services Alright Shay What you trying to build now, Grim? Trying to have some sidewalks finally laid down. Finally? Keep them damn junkies from jogging in the middle of the street. They be trying to get hit. God dang. Though you're not false, it's not just for them. 
It's for everybody. Sidewalks mean safer bus stops for the kids, smoother paths for the elderly, and a safer place for niggas to jog. <laughs> it still ain't gonna stop them white people from trying to harass us while we trying to get our jog on. Man, they be shooting and kidnapping us left and right. Especially women like me. This shit ain't gonna happen no more in my city. I'm setting fucking boundaries. Niggas gonna think twice before crossing my city lines. Especially when they know I'm done with the place. I like how you protect us, Graham. Fucks with that. I really do. Look, I know you don't want to hear about this, but Ben's been spreading some shit in the neighborhood about what went down the other day. Eh? And I'm just letting you know, because that dude and that nigga know it'll be all she in. She always running her goddamn mouth. What the hell that shit got to do with me? Why are you telling me this? She's trying to turn you away from your affiliates. I can't be tied down. My ties can't be broken. Tell them to them Southside niggas who tried to kill me this morning. What? You heard what I said. They ran up on me this morning. I'll handle it. I said I'll handle it. You crossed the boundary. A boundary that I take very seriously. A boundary that pertains to my family. I've kept my hands clean from shit like this for quite a while now. But you've made me come out my newly found comfort zone. You niggas had it so good. Profitable corners. Police paid off. I was even gonna put a strip mall in that area for you niggas. But because y'all got greedy, that's all over with. I'm a serious man that faces a serious dilemma. Do you wanna know the dilemma I face fine? I wanna know why I'm here about to kill the same nigga that I told to kill another nigga just the last week. I take mine seriously. You cross that boundary, and there's no going back. around here pretty lady first of all that's disgusting second of all where i'm at is none of your business i just care for the ladies around here you know ain't nothing wrong with that you don't care you claim you do i'm not these dumb bitches out here okay you could try that act at them not me okay okay trust me lady you're the disobedient type and even if i want you in my company it won't work my investment in the long run and pim don't like it's time nor money wasted i would be the best investment you've ever had. Dang. I could say bitches be tripping out here. Hey what's up Tevin? Nothing much. Just want to provide you with some information. What's up? Some niggas from the south side tried to put Shay six deep this morning. Not my baby. Is she okay? She's alright. We just... Because I'm not about this conversation with these niggas. It's real chivalrous of you, pimp. Say what you want to say. This face is a money maker. I can't mess it up. Yeah? Well, anyways, we ain't locked with the South Side anymore. So just stay on alert. Alert? What? I've been on the streets for decades, nigga. Know me. And yet you talking about how this is your money maker. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Trust me, nigga. I ain't. But don't say I ain't warn you. <laughs> hey, if you see my baby, tell her I say hey. And if she ever needs a shoulder to cry in, I got the tissue ready. I'm sorry, I didn't. Don't, don't apologize. 
I come here to acknowledge that I shouldn't have spoke to you the way that I did earlier. I was mentally frustrated. Thank you. You're welcome. It's just... It's just a thought of them hurting you that puts me into a headspace that I do not like to be in. You know that I care about you. Ever since we were young, we like family, Sierra. Must be like family, what you mean? Yo, I do also want to let you know that me and Tevin sorted everything out. I told you I got you back. I said that if anybody fucks with you, they fuck with me, plain and simple. Grim, I told you I can handle my own. Plain and simple, Shay. Now I'm finna go out and out. I need to get my mind off everything. You know how to reach me, Sierra. You know I do. Have a good night, Grim. Have a great night. Time you wore these dresses because these things is looking dusty uh, cute but dusty girl you're supposed to be helping me find something to wear not being queen of comedy i'm just joking just joking <laughs> yeah so what do you think i should wear um uh, i was thinking maybe this one or maybe this one hmm. or maybe this one <laughs> Damn, girl, pick. I gotta go soon. Okay, okay. Um, this one. Yeah. And where are you going? You haven't been out in quite some time, so. I'm going somewhere. Where are you going? I'm going to a poetry slam. Damn. Hmm. Oh, a poetry slam. And might I ask, why are you going to said event? Maybe I just want to go out, Brianna. Hmm. Well. You know this is a girl's night out now, right? Uh, I'm not waiting for you to go to all the way home to change. I don't have to. I've stashed three outfits just in case for moments just like this. Are you serious? As hell. Give me just one minute, okay? Can't believe I actually came out here. Girl, me neither, but you out here now, so let's just enjoy it. Girl, show a little bit of breast. Oh. These are grown ass men out here, okay? Not Look, little kids. I'm not trying to do all that. Well, you need to. Look, let's just go. We're already late. Okay, we can go right now. Come on, let's go. I can see that. Well, thank you for that observation. Long day or just a drink? A little bit of both. Well, we all have those days. I just had one myself. I notice you're enjoying the wine too, I see. It's my preference. The hard liquor is for special occasions. I'm sure you understand. I guess I do. I usually come here. I've never seen you here before. It's my first time. Heard it was the place to go to relax and have fun. Well, whoever refers you led you the right way. If I'm being honest, I know that my friend is watching me right now. I promised her I would talk to at least one guy today, and well, we've been talking for long enough for her to get off my bed. Well, first off, you didn't really have to tell me, but I do appreciate it. I'm just trying to be cordial. 
Hey, what's your oh, I'm sorry. Did I come off rude or something? Do you want me to be? No, <laughs> I just didn't want to seem like that type of woman. You don't seem like that type of woman. You seem nice and genuine. Thank you. Uh, I assume you want to know my name. That would be nice. Hi, my name is Grim. Hi, Grim. I'm Michelle. Well, Michelle, I would like to let you know that those are a beautiful pair of heels you have on. Thank you, but how did you even? I saw you since the second you walked through the door. All these men around here have been afraid to speak up, but not me. I'm going to make my presence known. I'm flattered. Honestly, my friend picked these out for me, so... <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Oh. You good? Being honest. I like a woman who's being honest in herself. Well, thank you. I have to get back now, but I enjoyed our conversation. And you're really handsome.